As we arise to another week of morning moments with Jesus, the blessing of another day, my prayer today is that you are spending more time with Jesus than ever before, that you are finding the value of seeking Him early and seeking Him often. The Lord speaks to us this morning out of Mark chapter 6. Because one of the things I believe people are struggling with right now in life more than anything else is the uncertainty of the world, the uncertainty of things that are going on in the world, even in our own nation, the unrest, the turmoil, the division. Those things can be very stressful. They can be very distracting. They can take us away from our original character and begin to make us act differently or think differently than God has created us to do. And in Mark chapter 6, the disciples have been out, they've been working for the Lord, and they return to Him. And this is what it speaks in verse number 30 of Mark 6. The apostles gathered themselves together with Jesus and told him all the things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said unto them, Come ye yourself apart into a desert place, that's a quiet place, and rest a while. For there were many comings and goings, and they had no leisure so much as even to eat. And so they departed into a quiet place by ship, privately. I believe this morning that the person who does not get along with Jesus is sure to have difficulty becoming his disciple. Because getting along with Jesus is essential. There can be no growth or genuine change Without it, it is in the quiet place that Jesus refreshes us. You see, burnout is a common problem in whatever field you work in. And the world has no real lasting solution for it. The world's advice will tell you to get away for a change of pace. And that may postpone burnout and stress for a while. But it will quickly return again if all you've done is relax for a little bit. Jesus did not tell his disciples to go away and relax. He told them to come with him and rest. See, his presence is the difference between a temporary rest and a lasting refreshment. Because in the quiet places, Even though Jesus does give us rest, He also teaches us how to depend on Him fully, how to serve Him more effectively, and how to trust Him in the stressful parts of our life. In the quiet place, that's where we grow. We deepen our fellowship with Him. And instead of a temporary rest, We have a lasting relationship that will continue to sustain us through the pressures of life. The things we learn while spending time with Jesus today are the things that will help us to survive the stressful parts of our life tomorrow. Yeah, the quiet place, the quiet time with Jesus, they should be frequent occurrences. As Jesus often went into a solitary place himself to pray. The times he had alone with his father, they strengthened him and guided him for his mission in life. And it's the same way with us, guys. We generally cannot experience the presence of Jesus in the busyness of life unless we have first experienced him in the quiet place. We cannot get to know him better 
if we avoid the one-on-one -on -one moments with him early and often. So if you want to serve him well, you're going to need his calm voice to speak clearly to you. And the only way to do that is in the quiet place. So my prayer today is that you will find that quiet place where it's just you and Jesus and rest and be refreshed for the times that lay ahead. I speak a blessing over you today that you would find that place in your life that you would desire Jesus more than anything else. That quiet place. That restful place. That refreshing place. Take a little time to spend a little time with Jesus. Be safe. Be strong and always be blessed. Be a person that finds Jesus in the quiet place so he can sustain you in the stormy times of your life. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, you have a great day.